An oxygenator changeout is costly and requires the patient to be temporarily weaned from pump, which in turn may cause harm to the patient. Therefore, before conducting an oxygenator changeout, it is crucial that the perfusionist properly identify an oxygenator failure first. The perfusionist must properly identify an oxygenator failure by evaluating mechanical considerations before oxygenator change out. First, check if the oxygen is properly delivered to the oxygenator. Second, check if gas path free from any obstructions. Third, assess gas connections to correct port. Lastly, check the gas flow and FiO2 settings if appropriate. Here is the algorithm for differential diagnosis of oxygenator failure. For the equipment required, first you should have an additional oxygenator with purge line and manifold arterial line attached. Second, an empty 50cc syringe for deiring. Third, a sterile scissor for cutting of tubings. Lastly, four tube clamps for single clamping or you can have seven tube clamp if you want a double clamping technique. You must notify the surgical team of your intentions and discuss your plans. If possible, terminate CPB and remind anesthesia to ventilate. If change out during bypass is unavoidable, then the following protocol should be observed. Next you gonna try to find some help. Anyone will do. Another perfusionist will be great. Next thing to do, is cool the patient down as fast and hard. As soon as you think you done to decent temperature that you can stop your pump. After that, stop the heater cooler and remove the water exchanger hose. Get all your supplies ready. Next thing is to add volume. Cause it gonna be about 300 cc that will gonna loose in the oxygenator we have on. Next, we'll gonna prep the lines. We need to do this in sterile technique because this is connected to the patient. We are going to swab each line where we gonna cut them. Disconnect the purge line of the old oxygenator and connect the purge line from the new one. Disconnect the oxygen line and transfer it to the new oxygenator. Clamp and remove the arterial side of the manifold from the the reservoir and connect the new oxygenator's arterial side of manifold. Inform the team that you are ready to come off pump and terminate the bypass. Clamp the arterial outflow, recirculation line, cardioplegia line, and inflow. Cut the lines and connect the new oxygenators starting from the bottom to top. After connecting the lines, remove all the clamps except the arterial outflow line. Open the recirculation line, purge line, and manifold, the recirculate and de-air the circuit.
Remove the old oxygenator from the holder and place the new oxygenator into the holder. De-air the pressure line as well. Close the recirculation line and remove the venous and arterial clamps. Announce the initiation of bypass and go to full bypass. You now know the following steps in the proper oxygenator chain shop, and it's one step closer in becoming a better and well-rounded perfusionist. Thank you very much for watching, and babuhay! You now know the following steps in the proper oxygenator chain shop, and it's now one step closer in becoming a better and well-rounded professionist. Thank you very much for watching and mabuhay!